I was born with a love of instru of music. I was very fortunate to be born. My mother taught Italian at the um, one of our big music schools here for a long time. I grew up around singers. My family's full of musicians. Um, some of my ancestors were opera singers. Both sides of the family is musicians. Um, so I was exposed to it from a really young age, uh, particularly classical music. Um, I have played many, many different instruments. I also got a music scholarship when I was at school based on playing the recorder, and I got a music scholarship to either play the cello or the violin. And I played the cello for a couple of years, which is why I took up the baritone ukulele, because it's a very similar string structure. And I also now have an acoustic bass guitar, which is very similar to the cello. And that's one of the reasons I finger pick and I don't strum and I play. One of the reasons I do my thumb thing up here, which is not a good habit, is because of my cello playing. So when you play a cello, you've got a big body that you need to hold your thumb against. You don't so much use your thumb when you play a cello. So, yeah, so that's... Um, I did up to grade three in the piano, but the most musical training I've had is with my voice. Um, so I can also read music. Uh, I play lots of different instruments. So with a lot of it, I put a lot of it um, on the cupboard to ga gather dust for a long time, as a lot of us did. And when lockdown happened, we all sort of pulled the instruments out of the cupboard. And for me, I'm all about seeing what I'm still capable of. I'm still chasing my 13-year-old self musically. Uh, I've lost a, a part of my upper range, but I've gained this in a baritone I never had. Like, I never thought I'd be able to sing Johnny Cash songs.